Hello again folks, I have a, another Ultra Saber review for you today and this time I'll be reviewing one of the sister hilts that came out most recently and in my case I have the Crimson Reaper this Saber I first saw when Ultra Saber sent out the promotional email to introduce it and I have to admit that I gasped when I saw this thing. I knew I had to have it and I set about saving for it and within a couple of weeks I was able to afford it. And it was even more difficult to wait the requisite amount of time to get it because I knew from my Dark Warglaive which I purchased before how good these things were and the fact that I would have had two now meant I could duel with them. I would have just paid for the two-day or overnight delivery, but unfortunately I live on the opposite side of the country from Ultra Savers, so it would have been prohibitively expensive. Anyways, the point is it's here, and it is absolutely amazing. As you can see, it is definitely up to the Ultra Savers standards of quality. from the tip of the emitter down to the very end of the pommel. It has a distinct slanted emitter and pommel which is very dis which uh, like I said is very distinct to this saber and if you notice any like scuff marks on it that's because I have used this in combat since I got it and it's held up extraordinarily well the detail that they put into the body is extremely, extremely good. It is probably the most finely detailed of Ultra Saber's lineup, which, if you're familiar with the said lineup, that is no small thing to say about it. Now, they all come standard with a cover tech wheel, and even I don't really plan on wearing these out. I did get a clip just in case I wanted to. <clears throat> and I got the anti-vandal switch this time. I got it illuminated to uh, match the body of the saber. And I decided to go with something a little bit special for the color. So I got it in... Sentinel Yellow. Now I have to say, the Sentinel Yellow color, it isn't perfect, but it, it, it does look extremely good. Especially if you're just casually looking at it from a distance. If you look very, very closely at it, you can see it gets a little bit of a reddish yellow down at the bottom of the emitter, emitter and it gets a bit greenish yellow at the very tip of the blade. However, you can only tell this if you stare at it for a long time and look at it up close. From a distance, it looks pretty damn good, I must say. And there's the red illuminated switch, which it complements the body very well in person. It doesn't really do it justice. Um, on video unfortunately but uh, yeah it is I am extraordinarily satisfied with this saber and it, had, it lived up to the expectations that I had when I first laid eyes on it in that promotional video and I would eventually like to get the regular Reaper the black and silver version of it but obviously there are other models I do want to get but for now I really couldn't be happier with this. The, the yellow complements the red extremely well. The anti-vandal switch illuminated is crystal clear and is just the perfect, uh, perfect supplement to this most distinct of sabers. And I would definitely recommend it to anyone who wants something really flashy and very ornate. So. 
Once again, this is the Ultra Sabers Crimson Reaper with red illuminated anti-vandal switch with sound and in sentinel yellow. And I hope you found this video informative and possibly entertaining. And I uh, hope you have uh, good luck with whatever you purchase. And I hope you are as satisfied with it as I am. All right. Later, guys.